What's up guys? Today we're going to dig into the biggest mistakes that you are making when you are trying to lose belly fat. Summer's right around the corner and I know a lot of you are desperate to wear your shorts, your tank tops, actually be in the pictures and just feel good about yourself again. So let's go ahead and get into the five biggest mistakes that we see with women who are coming into our program and how are trying everything but the belly fat stays stuck. So last week we had four and I asked you to drop a four in the comments. Today I'm going to ask you to drop a number five if you're watching in the comments, whether you're on live or on replay, that's how I know you're watching and you know, I know you like this and you want me to make more of it. So drop a five below and let's go ahead and get started. All right. So mistake number one, and I know you've heard me say it a thousand times before, but I'm going to say it again. So you're not eating enough protein. I know you think you are, but you're not. This is leading you to feel erratic crashes, like crashes throughout the day, that 3 p.m. slump. It's also leading you to feel really hungry. So if you get home and you're like eating cheese and crackers while you're making dinner for the kids, you're not eating enough protein. You've got to eat more of it. How much protein is enough? You want to shoot for one gram per pound of body weight. If that sounds crazy to you, think of your goal weight and start with one gram for every pound of your goal weight. I normally have my clients eat four times a day to get this in, especially in the beginning. Some of my favorite ways, honestly guys, I hate cooking. Um, so I'm always looking for ways to uh, get my protein in that doesn't involve cooking. So a few of my favorites, tuna fish is a really, really, really great way. Cottage cheese, Greek yogurt. I also buy uh, frozen chicken burgers, turkey burgers. These are really, really, really easy to make for lunch. Um, jerky is great and adding egg whites to your eggs is a really, really, really simple way to increase your protein. So mistake number one is I promise you, you are not eating enough protein. And when you start, it'll change your freaking life. It's going to be a little challenging in the beginning, but stick with it. Mistake number two is you're eating low volume foods. What are low volume foods? Well, here's an example of a high volume food. So this and this have the same number of calories in them. They're both about 200 calories. This is low volume. This is not going to take up much space in your stomach. This is not going to leave you very full and it's not going to give you a whole lot of energy. This is a low volume food that has 200 calories. This is going to make me feel full for longer. So if you're eating you're still watching, drop a six in the comments down below because we just went from five to six. So we're going to give you a bonus one. Um, the next one is you're not eating enough micronutrients. So nutrient dense foods. We kind of talked a little bit about minerals already, but eating foods that have nutrition in them, things like berries, fruits, vegetables, uh, meat is very nutrient dense. So our eggs are very nutrient dense. So just eating foods that have the building blocks of what our bodies actually need. Right. And so, um, so we've done trainings on this before, but when you're eating food that has a lot of nutrients, your body will recognize and signal to itself that it's actually full. When you're eating empty calories like cookies that have no nutrients, you can eat 50 of them because your body doesn't ever get the signal that it's full. I bet you couldn't eat 12 eggs, but I bet you could eat 12 cookies, right? Because there's a lot of nutrients. So you're not eating enough nutrients in your diet. If you're eating 1200 calories, you are not getting enough nutrition for your body to ever feel satiated or operate like it should. All right. And the last one is going to be for all of you ladies who grew up in the low fat era. Like I did, we used to eat fat free, everything, fat free cheese, fat free, freaking wraps. I mean, fat free, everything. It's disgusting. Just thinking about it now, making sure that you are getting enough healthy fats. So what are healthy fats? Things like avocados, olive oil. These are all healthy fats. Your hormones need fats. They're all made from fats. And so you have got to make sure that you're getting enough healthy fats, just like carbs. You want to eat them at the right time and the right amounts and the right ones for your body. But we'll save that for another day. So there you have it, guys. I've dropped six of the biggest mistakes that I see women make when they come into our programs with nutrition. So if you haven't already dropped a five or a six, a six in the comments below, go ahead and drop that now. That's how I know you're watching. That's how I know you want me to make more of these types of videos. And if you're struggling with this and it's something you'd like some help with, go ahead and send me a DM. I'll let you know if I can help. And if I can't, I'll send you, send you to somebody who I think might be a better fit to help you or just like, you know, put you in the right direction. That's it guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.